Also, one thing to note, if you don't have the Awakened Heroes, just because you don't have the Awakened Heroes like Awakened Bait in here doesn't mean that you can't uh, use the Awakened Heroes because um, you can actually still have fully built Awakened Heroes for this. I'm going to be looking at Rem and Amelia's Arena of Trials again, except I'm going to be looking at the Guild Trials specifically, so I'm going to first start off with Amelia here. Okay, looking at the Guild Trial leaderboard, I'm going to be looking at the the top team here. Um, the first one we have, we have Kinesa and Rook and Awaken Baden, and then we have Tamris, uh, Mulan, and Amelia here in the back line. That's the first team for uh, this Guild Trials. The second team we have Awaken Baden, Scryeth, Amelia, Iran, and Faith Thayel. So it looks like we're doing maybe a, a pole comp here for this one. The third team we have, we have uh, Amelia, Matria, and we also are bringing Rem into this one with Leonardo and Palmer. So have a little bit of support and crowd control there. The fourth team, uh, we have Amelia, Lorzen, Aziz, uh, Nara, and Thorn. So for this one, it looks like we are doing the Thorn Cheese. Look at that damage for Thorn. That's that's incredible. And the fifth one, we have Mahira, Moro, with Amelia, Frampton, and Damon. And it looks like the main one here is with Damon. Over 1 billion damage, so very cool. I also want to look at some of these replays as well. I just want to go ahead and see what we are uh, doing with some of these teams. Okay, for this one, they all are coming in here. And I think the main hero that we have here is going to be the Awakened Baden. Uh, doing a lot of the damage here. Awakened Baden does a lot for uh, a lot of teams in terms of damage. Also bringing all the teams, to, all the heroes here together so we they can do a lot of damage. Also allowing Mahira to uh, crowd control everyone with her ultimate ability. So overall that one seems pretty simple. And I want to look at the Thorn Cheese one here. I want to look at the Thorn Cheese. There, there we are. We have Amelia in the front line here. So hopefully Amelia... Oh, I don't think Amelia is going to survive. We can't really have a lot of these heroes survive uh, with the Thorn Cheese. So I'm guessing all these heroes are going to die uh, pretty quickly here. Here we have, we have, uh, yeah, we have everyone just die right off the bat. And then uh, Thorn's going to be able to do his ultimate ability and uh, do a lot of damage because all the his allies have died. And yeah, that allows him to do a lot of damage. And there we go. He also died as well. So kind of like a tie, but they give the win to this one. Those are the two that I was most interested in. I really like to see the Thorn Cheese. Looked at the teams. I'm, let's go ahead and look at Rem's uh, guild trials as well. Okay, for Rem's, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to look at the uh, first team here, the top team. So for this one, we have Awaken Baden and Rem within the front line here, and then Mortis, Tamris, and uh, Pippa in the back line. So bringing back Awaken Baden, also bringing back Tamris here as well. Uh, for the second team here, we have Scryeth, Awaken Belinda with Rem, uh, Iran, and Queen. So for this one, I'm guessing it's going to be sort of a five pull slash uh, lockout CC team with all those heroes. Uh, for this one, uh, it's going to be Matria and and uh, Amelia in the front line with Rem, uh, Leonardo, and Palmer. So I believe we've seen this team actually with the Amelia Arena of Trials. So bringing back a team. And the fourth one, Aziz, uh, Flora, Rem, Nara, and Thorn. Once again, looking at the Thorn cheese with this fourth comp. And the fifth team, we have Mahira, Kazard, Rem, Moriel, and Damon. Uh, looking like we're using Damon for his damage again, like we always do. Uh, these teams are looking very similar to the one we've had before. Just a few uh, changes here. I want to look at this sort of five-pole comp here with uh, these heroes, the second team. And for this one, right off the bat, all the heroes get pulled to the center into the allied side of the battlefield because of uh, Iron and Scryeth here. And I'm assuming at this point we're going to have all of the heroes like Queen, Iran, Scryeth doing their ultimate abilities, keeping them together, also doing that crowd control, which is very nice. Also with Ram as well, doing quite a bit of damage here. Looking at that damage, at that crowd control, uh, th which is what I expected, really. Yeah, and Iran's ultimate ability, allowing for even more crowd control, allowing for that 
a freezing effect also well, with his ultimate ability. I also want to look at this third team here with uh, Matria and Leonardo and Palmer. And once again, just like with the Thor and Cheese comp, we have uh, Amelia in the front line. And hopefully we're going to see a lot of damage from Rem here, also from Awakened Matria, which uh, the Matria dies there immediately. Hoping to see support with Palmer, also some crowd control there, and also maybe a little bit of damage with Leonardo as well. So hopefully get to take down all these heroes as fast as possible. And it does take a little bit for Matria to uh, revive herself. Yeah, overall, I think it's just with this one, it's just going to be keeping all the heroes alive here. And uh, with the support also making sure that they don't uh, they don't get dealt any a lot of damage with uh, Leonardo. You know, overall, these teams are looking pretty good. A, a lot of damage from some of the heroes that we have here. Also, one thing to note, if you don't have the Awakened Heroes, just because you don't have the Awakened Heroes like Awakened Bait in here doesn't mean that you can't uh, use the Awakened Heroes because um, you can actually still have fully built Awakened Heroes for this. Just It just depends on your guild and friends here. You can use your guild's most powerful heroes. So, like right here, I do not have Awakened Baden built, but just because someone from my guild does, I can go ahead and use the Awakened Baden here. Plus 30 second Tritum, 9 of 9 furniture, also 60 engraving. So I can still use these heroes. So just because you don't have the Awakened Heroes doesn't mean that someone in your guild uh, doesn't have the Awakened Heroes. So yeah, just I think it just depends on how uh, well built your guild is, how powerful your guild members are. Hey, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and also comment what do you think about Rem and Amelia, the new dimensional heroes. And thanks for watching.